Hey guys. Hey, how you doing out there? Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Ooh, my <laughs> dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you're saved out there. Hallelujah. I truly do. Absolutely. You know, that's Deanna's heart, my heart. You know, of course, that is God's heart. Amen. And I'm telling you, uh, that yeah. in itself, God's own heart. He He loves you so much. That's right. He, he, he loved you so much that he gave his only son to die that's on right. the cross for each and every one of us. That's right. Amen. For you awesome. and for all of that's us. Right. Amen. That's right. He so, is Lord. Yes, he is. Jesus Listen, is Lord. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I'm telling you, you need to change that. That's all right. right. Amen. And we're going to give you an opportunity at the end of this devotion, if you will stick with us. Yes. And we'll walk you through a prayer. If your heart so desires, if your heart is ready to receive. Amen. Right? That's Amen. right. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to okay. welcome you to today's devotion. Uh, embracing God's love with Steve and Deanna. That's us. <laughs> Praise God to let you also know, yes. hey, and we're still in this book. That's right. And I'm telling you, uh, man, you want to get to know God? You want to get to know God through the Holy Spirit? Well, you got to get to know the Holy Spirit. That's right, you I do. Don't you? Right, and so this book's going to walk you through that, and you're going to have a closer walk with God That's through right. the power of the Holy Spirit. That's Amen. right. Yes. Amen. Amen. A closer Amen. walk with Jesus. Mm. Good stuff. That's right. That's some good stuff. We're going to yeah. talk about today about uh, how the Holy Spirit will predict the future. You're going to find that in day 30 in the book. Right that's on, right, Dana? Yeah, let's yes. try it on. Okay. So, we all know that the Bible's full of predictions, right? Prophecy used to declare the people things that God has in store for them. I don't know about you, but me and Steve, did I? Oh, we've had prophecies yes. spoken over us, and you know, yes, and one by one. They were watching come to pass. Watch and actually, this pass. is one of them that came. Is, that this come is to, one right now. This is one that's coming to pass. This was prophesied over us back in 2015, I think. Right. Or so, 14, something like that. Something yeah. like that. And I here wanna, we are. And I want to read something really quick right out of the book. All right. So if one predicts if one predicts what, what is to come, it is only because the Holy Spirit brings the future forward. Amen. So that... It can be seen in advance. Praise God. You know, when a, when a person has a, a word of prophecy, that's what he's bringing. He's bringing, uh, he's bringing something that is to come. That's right. Amen. That's right. Into this present time. Amen. But it, it, he reveals to us his plan. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and that he is in control of that plan. Amen. That's right. Always. That's right. So God knows the end from the beginning. We know that, right? He knows your future and your past. God knows everything <laughs> right. about knows you. Everything and about he, you. You can't hide from him. What's exciting is, he, yes. listen, he, we can't change our past. That's right. But we can change our future. That's right. And if we allow God to yes. reveal, right? That's right. <laughs> and, and it only comes in part. It comes in right. part and it comes in portions. God can't reveal the whole plan to you. You'll... You'll take off well, running. Yeah, you'll take off running before his timing. Right. I've Amen. seen that happen too in people that's and they right. miss it. That's and you don't want to miss it. That's right. You might run right on past it. That's right. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're so excited. I get the excitement. I, I do. get it. We get it. But just wait on God. Amen. That's right. You know, Let him to bring it pa to pass. Throughout the whole uh, the whole Old Testament, there are, there are more than 300 yes. prophecies written hundreds of years beforehand yes. and recorded about Guess who? Jesus, Jesus is coming yeah. and dying on the cross and his, his resurrection. resurrection. It was all spoken hundreds right. of years prior. That's right. Beforehand, right? That's right. It's awesome. That's right. God is the only one who could plan those specific details to ensure that they would come to pass. That's right. So they were fulfilled in Isaiah 7, 14, Luke 1, 35, Micah 5, 2, Matthew 2, 4, and 6, Exodus 12, and 5, Hebrews 9, 14, Psalms 8, 5 through 6, Hebrews 2, 5 through 9, Isaiah 35, 5 through 6, and Matthew 11, 6. Right so on. write those down and, and you guys look those scriptures up. I want you to look them up and read them. Right now, the beauty of this right. video is you can pause it and, and, and get all of That's those. That's right, you can all get right. all of those. Right. Um, How about Acts 2, 10, Steve? Paul's, uh, Paul's arrest was prophesied. Right. Uh, by Agabus, right, and we've seen it fulfilled later in right the scriptures. We, uh, let me uh, let me read that real quick. Oh, I got this right here. You find this in uh, 
Acts chapter 16 and in verses 25 through 26 talk, talks about Paul and Silas being imprisoned. Yes. Okay. Now I love this story because it's one of my favorites. This is this is the perfect picture of God uh, through the power of his Holy Spirit uh, setting us free. Amen. Amen. That's setting awesome. us free yeah. from, from whatever you're bound up with. That's right. Amen. You may not you may not be imprisoned and you may not be wearing shackles and chains. But listen, spiritually, if you got if you got an addiction, that's a shackle. That's right. All right. Or if you don't if you're not saved, wow. you're shackled. That's another shackle. That's another right shackle. There. So here's that's right. here it is. Paul and Silas in the midnight hour were praying, singing hymns and praise to God. And the prisoners, I love this, were we're listening, listening to, to them. them. All the prisoners prisoners That's right. all right and suddenly there came a great earthquake and so that the foundations of the prison house were shaken and immediately all somebody say all oh. all the doors were open and everyone's chains were unfastened Amen. listen by the power of the holy spirit they were they were listen they were in the worst of the worst the Amen. lowest of the lows in this prison all right shackled and god set them free by the power Amen. of the Holy Spirit. Awesome. What, what were they doing, Deanna? That's right. They were yes. singing that's right. and, praising and praising God. God. Listen, that's that should be our uh, reaction. That's right. Right? That should be our reaction always. When you're going through something, begin to praise God. That's right. Begin to sing. And then I love, I love, I love towards the end of that story. I think it's verse thirty. Talks about the jailer. All right. He wakes up and sees <laughs> that all the all their chains had fallen off. Yes. And he's like, what? What's going on? I'm paraphrasing now, okay? And he uh, he he uh, thinks that they've all escaped, and he's about to kill himself because he's a Roman soldier. And uh, Paul says, "Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa!" That's right. Yes, he did. We're all in here. You That's don't right. have to do that. That's right. And I love I love that the end that uh, the end of that when the the jailer says, "What must I do to get saved?" That's right. What must I do? <laughs> He became a believer That's right. from that moment on. Isn't Amen. that exciting? That's so Listen, exciting. If God can do that for that That's Roman right. soldier, yes. a jailer who, listen, he had, I don't even think that duty was that great of a duty to be sitting down there in the lowest of lows, guarding prisoners. That's right, yeah. But God brought him up out of that, hallelujah, That's right. and set him free. That's right, he did. Amen. He did. Amen. <laughs> so this brings us to this. Well, first of all, you can imagine the confidence that Paul must have felt Amen. knowing that God was there for him and all those prisoners and that jail, that jailer. Absolutely. Don't you think? <laughs> that's, that's exciting to me. I love that Because he knew God story. was in control. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Amen. Okay. So it brings us to this. If you have not received Jesus as your oh, Lord and Savior, here it is. this is the time to do it. This is the time to receive him and get eternal life. Amen. You want to see uh, you want to see your chains fall off. That's right. You want to be set free. Yes. You want to you want to live the best life. Yes. You want to, listen. God has a plan and a purpose for each and every one of us. That's right. Amen. I mean, that's including you. I'm talking to you right now. If you don't know Jesus, just repeat this prayer after me. If your heart is ready yes. to receive, it has to come from the heart. Yes. All right. Amen. Steve. It cannot be just mouth service because God gets enough of it's that. It's lip service. Oh, well. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So just repeat this prayer after me and say, Father God, I know I have sin in my life and I want to change. I want these chains broke off of me, Father God. I want to be set free. I need Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior. I believe in my heart that he died on the cross for me. And I'm ready now to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, God, for saving me. Amen. 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 If you like said that, that prayer, yes. get a hold of us. We're from oh, Res Life God. Church in St. Louis, Michigan. Our phone number and uh, website will be on the bottom of this screen. Absolutely. Get a hold of us. We want to hear from you. Love to get a chance to meet you. That's right. And then we would like you to come to our church. We have um, uh awesome pastor. <laughs> pastor Rick Lopez. Yes, and, and his wife, Diane. I'm telling you. I like preaching like a man on That's fire. That's right. They're I'm, awesome. I love we his love preaching. Them. Yes. And uh, you're going to get set free. I That's swear right. to you. And uh, listen, come and check us out. Yes. We love you. We, we call you all blessed. Yes. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 
And yeah. uh, I want to read one more thing for you, if I may. And this is out of the Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14. That the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 We love you. We'll see you Monday morning. Come Monday. back and hear another word. Right on. All right. Peace. Peace.